The first things we, we just we just heard about it about Hall and, and and Harris doing the doing the game. Uh, you know, just your, your thoughts on that, and obviously, you know, people think it might be an awkward situation. What's your what's your feeling? Well, three things with that. Number one, you know, you have Vern Harris, David Hall, and Randy McCall on this game, and you know, those are three of the best, and three of the best that I would want on any game that I can have. And so, you, you know, you can't lose sight on that. You can't lose sight on what really happened, and what really happened in that situation is those guys were given false information. And no matter who stood at that monitor and looked at that video, that was the result they had to come up with. So, you know, we all wanted a different result. We all wanted it to count. But it, it, needs, to be, it needs to be understood what exactly happened. What exactly happened was that they were given the wrong information and the wrong technology. That was a technology error uh, for us to lose that Colorado State game. Not an official error. And so it's not on Vern Harris, David Hall, and Randy wasn't there, obviously, but it is not on them. And, you know, that, that needs to be cleared up. That needs to be understood because when that happened, there was days of confusion of what really happened. And now that we know what really happened, people need to understand that. And if I would have been standing at the monitor and if I would have gone through the protocol that the Mountain West requires you to go through on that, I would have had to call it no good given the technology errors that were in front of me. And that needs to be understood. It needs to be understood by our team, by our coaches, and by our fans. And we need to handle it in the right way. And the right way is is we take the high road and we, you know, we are what we are. We're professional about it. We, we understand the real thing that happened. And we don't have, I mean, there's going to be no aggression towards those officials. It shouldn't be. We're lucky to have those good officials in our gym, and that's how I feel about it. Have you reached out to them? Have you talked to them at all since then, uh, in the yeah. days since then? Yeah, I've, you know, I have, I've talked to David Hall. And, um, you know, there's nobody more sick about, I mean, these guys care about their jobs, and, and the good ones do. And the good ones want to get it right. And they were given, they were put in a situation that where they weren't allowed to get it right. By no fault of their own. So that, that needs to be out there, and that needs to be the story, really. and that's what really happened. You know, like I said, there was a lot of confusion in the days after that event, and you know, the referees' names were thrown out there, and they were thrown under the bus somewhat. They were thrown under the bus by the technology, not by, their, not by any lapse of judgment or wrongdoing. They were thrown under the bus by the technology. All things considered, the fans probably still aren't going to give them a standing ovation or anything tomorrow. Well, I, the, the fans, there'd be no reason to, to have anything towards them. There really wouldn't be. I mean, you know, that they, they're going to, like I said, I've always said that. There's guys I, want, I trust on a game. Those guys are going to do their job. And, and I may not agree with every call they make. Of course not. The fans might not agree with every call they make. They need to understand that those are two of the best. And, well, three of the best tomorrow night, and that, that you know, we just let them do their work, and we're respectful of that. Playing a UNLV again uh, tomorrow. Obviously, they played maybe, maybe the, <laughs> sadly for you, but maybe their best half of the year was, was at their place. Yeah. Uh, you know, just your thoughts on playing those guys, because you have seen maybe their best, and so maybe that yeah. I don't know if that helps well, you prepare better. The thing that I've seen is, you know, you still look out on the floor. They've had some injuries, and they've had some, you know. They've had some turmoil in, in their thing with Dave, you know, Dave's thing. And um, but you look out on the floor and you're going, wow, they got a lot of good players out there. And, and we know that. Uh, we know how talented they are and how good they can be. And, you know, it's one of those games where if we don't play a great game, then, you know, they're, they're a team that can they, they can really get it going. Well, you, you know, you, it's, if you had the answer, it would be easy for you. But the, some of those second halves this year, especially when, when, in games that you've lost, have just something's gone wrong for you guys. What what has been, you know, that you, well, what, you've tried to, what you've noticed you know, in those games? In this last one, one of the things that I'm kicking myself for is uh, we, we were playing so good that I, you know, I stayed with the horses a little too long. And, you know, you, factor in all those things that I know that it's tough playing at, at altitude and, it, and I and we lost you know we lost pace offensively and we probably were worn out a little bit defensively might have cost us to miss some free throws and so I got to do a better job of, of keeping guys a little more fresh and uh, you know but sometimes when it's going so well you're afraid to pull a guy out because you don't want to you know disrupt what you're doing and but it, but it probably came back to us in the end and bit us 
uh, in the fact that I didn't use the bench enough. Is it, you know, you know, some of the fans that'll probably be there tomorrow night have been kind of upset or disappointed about some of these second halves. Are, are, are you as, is that your emotion or since you're in it, or is, is it a little different for you? Well, you, you know, you look back on our six years here and it's just, what's crazy about this is how many close games we've played. And, you know, we found a way to win a lot of them. We're not going to win all of them. Uh, different teams will do different things. But in the end, usually when you break it down, it, a lot of it comes back to free throws. I said that right after the game. You watch the film, you're like, okay, things can go wrong and you can make a lot of mistakes, but if you make your free throws, you're going to survive it. And there was that case, you know, down there. So, you know, this team has to find a way to enjoy the free throw line and, and kind of embrace that. And, you know, we had a kid last year that loved that. He just loved to get to the free throw line at the end of the game and, and make them. And he was always going to make them. And so we just have to have the confidence and the right mindset when we step up there. And like I said, you know, I don't know whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, but it seems like a good thing that we've had him in a lot of close games over these six years. It's it's better than being in a lot of blowouts. And sometimes the close games, sometimes you get, they don't bounce your way. And, and we know what a tough environment we played in. We know how well we played. And that, you know, that's the, 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 worst part of that is we played maybe our best 14 minutes of the year that second half and so that just gets lost on how we played the last five minutes. With the fans though, I mean, do you understand that? I guess you like their passion and stuff that they do and maybe the expectations coming into the year were so high that when, you know, if something does happen like it did the other night that they're very outspoken on social media and sports talk radio and stuff. I mean, do, you, do you like that? They're passionate that they want to see this team do well? Well, obviously. you know, when I got here there wasn't any passion about exactly. it. So it's nice and it's nice to uh, and we have people that care about it, and that's why they're called fans. You know, they're pretty fanatical about it, and that's a for nation. And, you know, we expect to win, and we built this program to a place where, you know, and we were bottom of the Mountain West. When we, when we went from the Wack to the Mountain West, we were the bottom, and we built it up to where we want to change. You know, that's where we want to stay. And so, you know, with that comes big expectations. And expectations for our fans. Our guys gave everything they could, and I think they played a tremendous game. We just didn't finish it, and you know, that's something that we have to keep improving on. How did you feel about the guy, you know, the practices and stuff, and also just did you notice it, it took a while to, to get that one behind Well, the, the bye was much different because we have not had a bye since Christmas, and we've had two games every week, and, you know, we've had some emotional things go on and, and you know, some tough, uh, some tough times. So uh, we got tough kids, and they, they're gonna, they're gonna bounce back and they're gonna play good basketball and they, you know, they compete. You can't ever fault them for how they compete. They went into the pit and battled. They've gone, you know, went to Colorado State and battled. They came here against Wyoming and, you know, the ball just didn't go in enough times in you know, our last one. And so we'll keep battling and, and good things will happen to these guys. They got good character and they'll bounce back. You got a couple, you know, quite a few guys who can score, but you don't. You know, you, you've mentioned a little bit you don't quite have the assassin yeah. like you had with Derek and yeah. you know it, it seems like it could be a good thing to have a lot of different guys but how much maybe have you kind of needed someone just to kind of be that guy who was like I'm just going to get to the basket yeah. I'm going to take and, the shot and, you know it's nice to have a closer and we're a little bit different than that we're good because we have balance and that's a that's a really good thing at times but as a coach and you know to have a closer is really valuable so, you know, we gotta, we got to have some guys that will step up and decide, hey, I want to be that closer. And, you know, then, you know, then everybody else kind of rallies around that, and that's what we've had in the past. And, um, you know, so that's what they, they have to do. It's on them to step up and do that. Last couple games, uh, Chandler hasn't played a ton. Is it, yeah. everything fine with him, or what's, what's kind of going on there? Yeah, you know, it's just, you know, I think with the resurgence of Anthony a little bit, you know, they play a lot of the same minutes mm -hmm. and same position. Uh, so there's been a, you know, Anthony's been playing great ball. So, um, you know, we're just, like I said, we're, you got 10 guys. They're not all going to play, you know, uh, some nights it's going to be different guys and, and depending on who's playing well. And that's you know, that's what we have to try to figure out night to night. How big, are the, how big are the next four games for you to finish out the regular season here? And I mean, all things considered, you still have a chance to be a top two or three seed in the yeah. league and still enter on a high note into the tournament. Right, no question. And, you know, we have our eyes on the, on the right thing and, and our guys are – you know, we're we're doing some things, especially offensively, that are maybe as good as anybody in the conference. And so if we can just you know work on some of the things that we're not doing great, uh, and 
just get them a little bit better than you know if we were like that. Is Anthony back to the his old self? No, 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 no. He's at he's at seventy percent, and you know, that's what's been so hard. Is you're th you're throwing such a curveball where you know seventy percent looks a lot better though than probably the fifty percent he's been playing at most of the year. So I think he's made improvement, but um, you know it's not it's not a, a boom in that sense. So. You talked about those little things you want to get better at. What are some of the, the top one or two things you want to see? Improve? Well, it's being able to close out, you know, and, and get stops down the stretch of the game, make free throws. You, you got to be able to do those two things to win games. And you can't, you know, you can't rely on you. You're not, you're not just going to be able to just run offense like throughout the game. It just the game changes at that point. You know, like I said, we had seven free throws that we left on the table in the last five minutes. You make five of those, you win. So. Uh, that's without getting any more stops. So we, you know, if we can do a little bit better at those two things, then you can close out this game.